The number one most common serious injury in paramotoring is people actually getting shredded in their own propeller. Either that gets away from them when they're warming them up or they just trip and fall down. Some people have even gone into the prop just doing a forward launch because during a forward launch, your hand is right up against the cage and you know the prop has actually hit people in the back of the hand because many units are so flimsy, they really don't offer any protection from the prop. That was a big design factor when I designed the flat top was to make for darn sure nobody is going through that netting. So the netting on the flat top is 400 pound strength Kevlar, which will literally hold twice the weight of my body. Then on top of that, the distance between the netting and the propeller at the very closest is over six inches, where most paramotors, your, your prop is only about an inch and a half behind the netting and the netting is very floppy. You'll see some units actually explode in flight when their netting accidentally flopped into the prop in flight. With the flat top, nowhere that you try and reach through, you cannot reach. Even if you put your hand up here, you cannot reach the prop because of how big that gap is. Not that you're ever gonna be trying to reach the prop, but that is a big factor. Well, heck, instead of just telling you, let me just show you. You can literally jump up and down on the netting of the flat top. So, like I said, it'll support over double my body weight. And, you know, with us, we don't wanna see your hands get chopped up and shredded. It's happened over a hundred times, and like four more times just in the last handful of months to units like Air Conception, Black Hawk, Scout, Mini Plane, and all these other types of units that are just kinda fake Sky Cruiser clones on the market. That was a huge design feature of the flat top, is to make sure that you are not going through that netting into your propeller.